Filipino domestic helper murdered and burned in Kuwait. Does she deserve all that? Who should be liable for this incident? Let's dive into it. It's so brutal, inhumane, and cruel. Today, we are going to discuss a very sensitive and concerning issue circulating in social media about a Filipina domestic helper who was found dead and burned in the desert in Kuwait. Ibig na ang pinaslam na OFW mula Kuwait na si Julie B. Ranara. Mayuwi ng labi ni Ranaras na natagpo ang sunog sa disyerto sa Kuwait. Allow me to give you a brief context of this traumatic story. Her name is Julie B. Ranara, a 35 years old Filipino worker in Kuwait, where she works as a domestic helper. Domestic helpers are those workers who perform work at a private household. They provide direct and indirect care services, such as cleaning, cooking, and washing clothes. To go back 22nd of last January, Julie B. was murdered and smashed on the head while they also found out in her autopsy that she was pregnant. Julie B. samples matched the 17-year-old suspect, her boss's son in Kuwait. The primary suspect was arrested and is currently in police custody. Fast forward last February 5th. The body of Jodibi was laid to rest in her grave at the Golden Haven Memorial Park in Las Piñas, Philippines, with her family and friends who cried their souls out with anger and agony. Jodibi's family is still hoping for justice to be served and held accountable to whom it's due. Moreover, Sheikh Salim Abdullah Al Sabah, Kuwait's foreign minister, promised that Ranara's killer would face punishment. In addition, the Philippines government has already suspended the accreditation of foreign recruitment agencies in Kuwait because of this brutal incident. What can we learn from this? Despite all the negativity you hear in social media, there's always a brighter side to look at it. Yes, we are devastated, but we also wanted to keep the positive momentum. There are people in this universe that would make our world a better place. And also that love knows no ethnicity race, gender, and religion. You may hear a brutal situations at some certain countries, but there are many, many, many cases. Like in Saudi Arabia, a 50 years old domestic helper Filipino was escorted to the terminal by three generations who she raised simply because the bonding was too strong and it was too emotional. In Bahrain, the 32-year-old Ethiopian had to travel back home to visit her family, but kids in the video are too attached to her because of her kindness and unconditional love. Another recent situation in an Asian country where a Filipina was traveling back to our country, but the kids kept crying because simply they were going to miss her. <laughs> Let's take this as a lesson to all. One, people should be treated the way how you want to be treated. Two, all people's lives matter. There are no discriminations. Three, we should take responsibility by educating, learn, and teach our generation. Four, people aren't similar, they're all different. In conclusion, going back to our story, the life of OFWs are not accessible. They left their homes because they wanted a better future for their families. And for the sake of the family and friends, they had to give up a lot. This video isn't meant to discourage those who want to be an OFW. Instead, it's meant to show everyone that these heroes must make sacrifices and take risk to give their family a better life. We hope that justice will be served. If you know someone, an employer or worker, is being mistreated, do not hesitate to ask for help. This is Imalatino Traveler. Stay Aztec. Stay safe. Kapatid.